Are you ready for some amazing deep core work? So we are going to head down to the mat for five exercises, three sets. This is about a 10 minute deep core workout. We're really gonna engage the transverse abdominals, the obliques, and the deep core. So head down to the mat with me, slowly and carefully. If you have a long mat, you'll definitely wanna use that. We're gonna come down to the ground. We're starting off with a 30 second plank. Now, let's just take a moment here to stretch out our shoulders. We're gonna be doing planks, side planks. We've got bird dogs, and then we've got dead bugs. If for our last set, you wanna grab a light set of weights, say threes or fives or eights, you could do that. I'm gonna use them for the third set, but we're gonna get started. We've got a 30 second plank and hold right here. So we're gonna start right here, 30 seconds, plank on the elbows. I've got a timer set for us. So all you need to be doing here is breathing. I would love for your ankles to be pulling together your lower belly is pulling up and in into the spine. You are breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. We're gonna have three sets of these five exercises that we're gonna be doing together. There's that 30 second mark. So we're next gonna to turn to our elbow for a side plank. Now I'm gonna show you an option. All levels, I do want your right arm up. Your hip can be lifted here holding in that side plank position. Option is to put both feet under and hold. Take a breath in, I want you to lift and puff up your chest, push that hip up to the ceiling, big inhaling in, long exhale. You should feel some tension in the shoulder that's closest to the ground. Press the palm into the ground. That'll really help to activate. You're gonna go for three, two, and one. Slowly put the hips down, slowly swing the legs around, transition to the other side. Again, option to put that bottom knee down, lift all the way up, lift the arm up with energy and strength. Take a long, deep inhale in. This is that deep core work 101 in that transformation challenge. So lift those hips up high, take a big inhale in, and then exhale. Big inhale in, lift the hips. Long exhale, stay with me here. We're gonna be transitioning to hands and knees for a bird dog next. So you're gonna to come to all fours to activate the deep core, really pull in through the lower belly, press the palms in, push the right foot back, extend the left arm. And then you're gonna put both hands and knees down and switch sides. Again, though, you're keeping activation, reaching one arm forward, opposite foot back. Pressing with energy and strength the palm into the ground. Big inhale in. You do not need to do this fast. Do this very slow and controlled. Your heel presses out. Your lower abs activate in. And then switch for me. Stay with it. There we go. We're going to turn over onto our back for our dead bug position. So really take a tabletop position here. Start by maybe pressing the hands against the knees, pulling the knees against the hands to feel lower abdominals and ab activation. Then come to where Frankenstein hands, arms are straight up. And then you're going to extend out left foot and right arm. And then exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, zip up. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. You're going to do one more. Big inhale. Big exhale. Great job. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. So you've got about 30 seconds right here to stretch, to grab some water. If you want to grab some light weights, which I'm going to do, because I'm going to maybe potentially use them on the second and third set. So shake out the arms. We are going to meet back in that full prone plank position. So you'll head all the way back down. Slowly, if you want to take one quick ab stretch, you can slowly drop down and then press the hands into the mat for Cobra Pose, big inhale, big exhale, and then let's set up for that plank position again. So shoulders 
directly over the elbows or in that second set of 30 seconds. Breathing in, exhale. Now I know you might have a tendency here to want to move the hips around, shake side to side. I want to encourage you to stay in this plank position right here, squeezing the leg muscles, pulling the lower abdominals in to the back. Big inhale in. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I want you to remember that today. Stay with me. All right, you're dropping down, turning back to that side plank. Now, again, second set. Maybe you are here. Maybe you're lifted. Maybe you take one weight and lift it straight up to the ceiling. Big breath in. Exhale, lift the hips. Activate through the inner thighs. Strong, deep core work means we are holding each exercise, this 30 seconds to start. Now I wanna encourage you, if 30 seconds for you, each one feels easy, then move it to 45 seconds or do this video twice. Okay, switch sides for me. A little spin to the other side or you can transition easily. Now again, shoulder lines up directly on top of the elbow, palm down, lift the hip, lift the arm, Stack the feet, take an inhale in, and an exhale. Big inhale, relax the neck and shoulders. A lot of times in this side plank, we tend to tense the neck and shoulders. So hold, lifting through the hips, breathe in. Exhale, great work. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down, you're turning right to the bird dog. If you wanted to use the light weights in the bird dog, you could, or you could also take the knees up and off the ground and try the bird dog here. Good, that would be more like a bear crawl bird dog. I've been giving all options for all different levels. So take the bird dog where you need it, but you are alternating arm and leg in this bird dog position, continuing to activate abs, deep core, shoulders. Take a long inhale, big exhale, flip it onto your back for that dead bug position. I am gonna use the light weights in the second set. So push the low back into the mat. Big inhale in, long exhale. Big inhale in, long exhale. Really trying to strengthen and activate the deep core here. 30 power seconds. Then we'll take that quick. If you need a water break, grab one. If you do not need a water break, head right back into a plank position because we will move right into our third set. Stay with me though here. Last rep, big inhale, big exhale. Great work with that second set. Amazing job. Okay, shake out the arms. Take a moment, you've got about 30 seconds. If you need a quick sip of water, grab one. Uh, maybe roll the shoulders back and down, alternate, maybe stretch the shoulders. When doing a deep core with a lot of planks, sometimes you need to take some time to relax the shoulders here. All right, are you ready? Last set, best set, all in right here. So back to our plank. You're moving back to your plank and hold. Option here to either stay in that prone plank position or if you wanted to come into a full plank position, know that this is also a great option. Now pull the belly button in and up through the lower back. Inhale in. This is a great deep core workout to bookmark and add on after maybe you do a power walk, maybe after you do a strength workout. Take a big deep inhale. The core is the foundation for every exercise and every movement we do. Our strong core helps to strengthen us when we're walking, when we're playing. Okay, everyone, back to side plank. Maybe put your knees down, maybe this last set, you lift up to a straight arm, maybe you stack the feet, or maybe you take the weight with the stacked feet. So no 30 seconds hold, whichever side plank felt best to you. Resist the urge to move the arm. This is a deep core workout, so I want you breathing through. Inhale and exhale. 
Inhale, fill up the belly. Exhale, zip up through the core. That's it, stay with me for three and two and one. Knee down, transition over to the other side. Great job, all right, three exercises left. Set up correctly, hand directly under the shoulder. You stack that straight line up and take the option, maybe you're stacking the feet, but you wanna make sure you're anchored in strong. Always maybe make it, take it to the next level, put one foot on top of the other. Maybe try to take a hold, big inhale in. Big exhale, sometimes you have to have a little fun with it. You've got eight seconds, if you come down, just come right back up, big inhale in. Big exhale for three, two, and one. Back to the center. Bird dog here. Take those lighter weights. Maybe you want to press the right foot back. Lift that left arm with those lighter weights. And then slowly transition. It should be a seamless transition. So as you are saving these workouts, notice, take notes. Maybe right in the notes section of your phone how you felt, if you used weights, if you didn't use weights. Maybe this is the first time you've done a deep core workout in a long time, so you didn't use the weights, and that's okay. But take notes so that you can see your progress. Okay, last exercise, flip over on your back, right into the dead bug, big inhale in, big exhale, transition, using your breath. Inhale in, exhale, lift. Inhale in, exhale, lift. Big inhale, just wanna say how proud I am of you guys. If right here you feel your lower back peeling off the ground, reset, maybe tilt the hips up, push the lower back in and out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Stay with it right here. You've got your last two reps. Last one, great. Job. Put those weights down. Amazing. Slowly roll all the way up. I want to encourage you right now to take a few rounds of cat cow to stretch the spine. And the abdominals. Grateful for this body and for the opportunity to move it today and to strengthen the deep core muscles. Breathe in. Exhale. I want you to be encouraged that you took time to do it. Beautiful. If you want to walk your hands forward, we can take one cobra or upward facing dog. Either one, mindful, squeezing and activating the glutes if you're all the way up, upward facing dog. Slowly, wherever you are, come to all fours, tuck the toes, lift the hips. We'll finish with a downward facing dog. And then walk the feet up to the hands. And slowly and carefully take an inhale in, arms all the way up, and exhale. Great job. Awesome deep core workout. So proud of you guys. Have a great day.